the gym. Fine, okay. Question five. The vector equations of two lines are as follows. Show that the lines meet and find the coordinates of the point of intersection. Well, that's um, brilliant. Uh, how do we know that they, they meet? We, we just need to consult that we need to show that they, they meet and satisfy all three dimensions. Uh, with, because we're really careful about this, you don't need to do this, but we, it's quite nice to make, just to show the thing. Before we do anything else, we ought to check they're not parallel, shouldn't we? <laughs> they're not. Um, 2 minus 1, 3 does not equal some constant times 5 minus 3, 1, so they're not parallel. We don't need to really write that bit, I don't think. I don't think they cared about that. But, um, but it's quite nice to have written it anyway, isn't it? Then we solve the equations. We've set up our three equations. 1 plus 2s is 3 plus 5t. 4 minus s is 2 minus 3t. And 5 plus 3s is minus 5 plus t. Be really careful when you copy this down. I can't remember who it was, but somebody made a slight error in copying the equations. I spent a long time kind of working on with that, and it, <laughs> it really messed up what was going on when you, when you do that. So we need to solve these. Um, shall we simplify them first? <coughs> what should we say? 2s. Uh, do I want to? Uh, 2s is 2 plus 5t. Uh, this one tells me, oh, this was quite nice, this one. This tells me that s equals 2 plus 3t. I'll, I'll use that in a minute. And, and this equation tells me that 10 plus 3s is t. So there we've got, we've simplified our three equations. Let's work on the first two. So on the first two, if we, um, from 2, we're going to sub s into equation 1. Seems like a sensible thing to do. That gives us 2 lots of 2 plus 3t is 2 plus 5t. So 4 plus 6t is 2 plus 5t. That's quite neat. That gives me t is minus 2. Brilliant. Um, so we've worked on equation 1 and 2 at the moment. So in equation 2, let's finish that job off, that is s is 2 plus 3 times minus 2, that's 2, take away 6, so s is minus 4, we get out of that. What we need to show now is that those answers are consistent with the other equation. Otherwise, you know, they meet in a two-dimensional projection of space, but they don't meet three-dimensionally, that's not the case. So we're going to sub one of them in. Let's sub in the value of s. s equals minus 4 in equation 3, and it gives us t is 10 plus 3 times minus 4. t equals minus 2. Tremendous! That is consistent. The fact that that's consistent tells us that the lines intersect. And the question did say find where they intersect, find the coordinates of the point of intersection, so we're going to go back and sub that in, so um, r equals, what's my equation, 1, 4, 5, minus 2, because t is minus 2, oh, no, that's the wrong one isn't it, I need minus 4 in there, oh no, t is minus 2, good, minus 2, no, no. T is, I need minus 4. 2 minus 1, 3. Which gives me 1 take away 4 is negative 7. 4 plus 4 is 8. 1 take away 4 times 2 is negative 7. Yeah. 5 take away 12. Minus 7. Yes. That's the right answer. And that gets full marks, but I don't like it. Because what did the question say? Find the coordinates. We've not found the coordinates, we've found the position vector at that point. So really we should be saying it's the point with coordinates minus 7, 8, minus 7. Um, uh, they allowed it in vector form. 
but be really careful because I'm pretty certain that I've seen a paper where they haven't allowed it in vector form. So when it says coordinates, give your answer in coordinates. The mark scheme allowed it in vector form, so I allowed it in vector form, but, but I am really careful to put it in coordinates to finish it off. Did you put it in coordinates? No. Oh, we are right sitting on my hand. Part two. Show that the line L can also be represented by the equation that. Right. Now, this, this is a show that question. Um, if we think about what we're going to show here, we're going to show that, that the line L, we need a point that lies on the line L, has to go through this line, has to be on this line, and it must be the same direction. So there's two things that we've got to show in order to show that this line is a, another representation of it. So, um, what can we do? Let's take, let's take this point 7, 1, 14 and show that this is on the line that that gives us the equation for. That's the first thing. So we're going to check that 7, 1, 14 is on the line. <coughs> so that would be... That would be... Um, 7, 1, 14 needs to be 1, 4, 5 plus s times 2 minus 1, 3. Is there a value, a consistent value of s that makes that true? Well, um, if s equals... Uh, let's, let's actually work the equation centrally instead of just jumping through it. Uh, 7 is 1 plus 2s. That gives us s is 3. 1 is 4 minus s, that gives us s is 3, and 14 is 5 plus 3s, <laughs> that gives us s is 3 as well, I don't know what happened, there we go, so that's, that's right, so that point is on the line, we now need to show that the direction vector of this new equation that we've been given is, is uh, the same, minus 4, 2, minus 6. Does that equal something times 2, minus 1, 3? Well, it does, doesn't it? If k is equal to minus 2, then it's the same equation. And that's what we needed. We needed to show that it was... Um, yeah, that, that it was parallel to it, and not only parallel to it, it also went through a point that was on that line. There we go. That 